Yo, 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 we got an exclusive special interview with none other than Jug Team Bleeder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just thank y'all. Welcome y'all to a little special edition of Big Gang. You know, Big Gang Theory. Well, you know, it ain't just about going live and stuff, but we do interviews. We do tap in with artists. We do get on the music scene. We do we do appreciate the grind of the independent artists that's focused. So today we got Bleed in the building. So, you know, I'm going to start off and get straight to the meat and potatoes, man. Where you from, man? And tell me a little something about your childhood. A little something about you, you know? Man, for sure, for sure, man. I'm from Dove Springs. South side of Austin, Texas, you feel me? Uh, but ri- originally my people from Arkansas, Augusta, Arkansas. You know what I mean? I'm the first generation of Austin, Texas, born and raised. Okay, okay, okay. So your childhood, man, you know, give me some insight. Like, first off, you in the music. So yeah. everybody got a music story. When did you fall in love with hip hop looking ass? Man, uh, I ain't gonna lie saying? to you, bro. Like, it was just it was just in me. Like my pops, he used to burn DVDs and whatever, you know what I mean? Like in he used to do a whole lot of like the bootleg CDs or whatever. He was pretty much like a DJ before the DJ type situation. So he used to have me on a little bit of everything. And then I used to ride with him while he while he do what he do. You know what I mean? So he, I, he used to have me in a, like a little melting pot. I'm listening to the East Coast, West Coast, South, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up, that's what's up, okay. Well, you know, I'm always into what a nigga got going on and everything like that. So, for the most part, man, you can tell me a little bit about your, you know, where you went to high school, you played sports, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. I yeah. like athletic guys. I, like I, athletic I ain't gonna guys. lie to you, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Funny thing is, I tried to hoop, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I went to uh, William B. Travis, you know? Yeah. Like, that's where they bust us at if you was from Dove. You either went to Travis or you went to Aiken, so you feel me? But, uh, yeah, I tried to hoop, bro, but, like. Tried to hoop. So <laughs> yeah. <what happened? laughs> Nah, I never made it to the season, bro, because, like, most of the time, I'll be skipping basketball practice to go record. Like, my partner had, like, a music class, my partner Lil' Lynn, and I used to go duck out for him, go record, miss practice, all kind of, you know, so. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I ain't never make it to the real games, but you know what I mean? I was a practice warrior. You graduated? <laughs> graduated high school? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I never got to it. Yeah, I got kicked out of high school when I was 15. Yeah. So, I never really got to it. I, I mean... Wanted to, but shit happens, you know what I'm saying? No, so, it's, it's life, you know, street shit. You know, I'm old, man. I look young. I'm 36, man. So. Yeah, that ain't old, bro. This is season. Old, bro. This is season. Okay, man, so you want to tell me how you got into music? Like, what made you pick up the mic, man? I see you shining, so let me know yeah, you're man. doing a little something, something. You feel me? Nah, yeah, man. So talk to me. I'm doing a little bit of everywhere, bro. Memphis, Arkansas, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's where that come from. But now, nah, on some real shit, like music, the first time I picked up a mic, I was probably like seven. Me and my cousin Scooter, my pops had bought me a karaoke machine. Ooh. And uh, you know what I mean? We messing around with it or whatever. And, and we start recording or whatever, doing our thing. And it's funny, man. I wish I could find them tapes. I can't find them tapes for nothing, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, we, we used some young cats talking about dogs and all kind of, you know, everything a, a, a little youngster interested in. Okay, okay, okay. That make a lot of sense. That make a lot of sense. A lot of sense. Most love start young. I started off young with it. Like, I ain't gonna cap. I started off young. Once I got into the industry, it was like, okay, cool. I was like, man, hey, it's life. It, it's, it's, it's definitely life. It, go, it goes a long way, a long way with you getting into music, staying into the music, and actually, like, Sticking with it for the most part. I ain't gonna cap. That's the hardest part. That's what I tell everybody when they trying to get kicked out, bro. Like the the riding it out, the grinding it out, and the part when you trying to get it to become That's something. Yeah, yeah, bro. You gotta you gotta be a real strong will, strong minded motherfucker. Cause if you ain't, bro, like. Yeah. It's going to be different. It's going to be difficult. Ooh, it's going to be difficult yeah, yeah. for you. It's going to be difficult. I tell people all the time, man. Um, I've been in the music my whole life. Um, little known fact, I can rap, but I won't rap. Um, I like being behind the scenes, A&R, managing, yeah. sync licensing. I like I like being the uh, – I, I got a phrase I use. Um, if the tortoise and the hare had a race, who would I be? Somebody, I'm I'm the nigga that put the race together. That's yeah. me. Like, I'm the nigga yeah. that put the race together. That's that's more that's so hard. along the lines of me with that one. Um, when you start out, people be thinking it's gonna be instant success. Like you gonna make a hit and your know, life just gonna change overnight. And it oh, really thanks. be fairy tale. It's really not that easy. Um, I've seen artists have ten hit songs and it still not make it 
I don't local. Know. No, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like people don't fail to under realize that, like, bro. It takes consistency to get to win. It takes consistency. It takes a budget because you got to be willing to no, invest in yourself. That's the one that they hate to hear. That's what I tell people. People don't know how much money I done spent, bro. Like if I could really tally that shit up all the way, like I know I done went crazy. I done been at it for a minute, but. Man. Yeah, it, it, that, that come with the tip, but you ain't tripping on. Nah, I ain't tripping him. No, no. If it's furthering you, if it's furthering you, it's making sense. It, it, nah, it, facts though. Yeah, if it's furthering, you, it's making sense. Well, okay, man. I want to, man. What bleeder stand for? I want to know that. Man, bleeder. That's that's uh, you know what I mean. They really start calling me that because you know what I mean. When I was a little young, I used to just. I ain't gonna cap like I used to be in everybody, everybody neck of the woods getting Bleeding it on, block. getting it on. If it's some money to be got, I'm there. Like niggas just be like, bro, you tripping? What you doing over here and over here? Nah, man, I'm trying to get something. You know what I mean? So bleeder really for me, they just start calling me that because I was, I was out there moving around. Then you know, at first they were calling me Slim Bleeder, and then you know what I mean, I dropped the Slim because you know I got a <laughs> I like few that. pounds on me. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like that. That's dope, man. I mean. Bleed the block, block bleeder. It makes sense. It's it's okay. it's definitely understandable. Okay, uh, my next question. Uh, you did the show with Jada, huh? Ah, oh, yeah, man. That's the OG, man. That's the real big homie, man. Okay. I, I appreciate that nigga, man. I love that nigga, man. Cause I ain't gonna cap to you, like, bro, bro did some real big homie stuff for me. Like, I ain't, you know what I mean? Like, bro gave me a verse on the love, put up to 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 where I was at in Arkansas. You know what I mean? With my people out there in Arkansas. He vibed with us for a few days, you know what I mean? Kicked the type situation in. And yeah, we really thugged it out, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, I, I can't even put into words what that meant for a nigga like me, especially because, man, when I was moving around, you know what I mean? That's all we used to listen to, that behind tent. That, you know what I mean? That whole project, that was a, yeah, that's probably one of the greatest of all time. Niggas don't really even know about if you ain't in the city. Because, you know what I mean? When I, when I brought them out there, it was niggas in Arkansas that was like, they ain't, you know what I mean? They ain't know. I'm like, bro, y'all don't know, dog, nigga. Like, this a real legend, nigga. Like, for real, for real. Like, mm, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one. And uh, how, like, uh, meeting him in a sense, though. Like, you know how a lot of people say, don't meet. Like, Big Gang says it all the time. You don't ever want to meet your idols in a sense. Yeah, like, you the people that you, you know, even just not saying your idols, but the people that you rock rock with growing up yeah. so was that like a, that's got to be that good feeling like okay that's, they're not all bad guys nah yeah yeah because i done met some people and i done been like ah oh, man what the fuck you know what i mean but him all the way genuine all the way love and then he i ain't gonna cap like he really the reason i i kind of i kind of molded my sound the way i done changed it up like this project coming up is more it's more more uh really my really my thoughts my emotions and really what just just how i feel i really just try to make something that that was mo most authentic to me you feel me just because of him like fam fam me and him had multiple conversations before he pulled up to arkansas and he was just like on some shit like man you know what i mean because i was telling him about a track i wanted to do but i ain't really i ain't really recorded because i felt like you know what i mean i know i know what what the masses of what everybody else is looking for from bleeder like and what they expected from bleeder and i ain't want to put out nothing that that would kind of throw them off the track of, of what I feel like they wanted. And fam was like, man, fuck all that. You know, you ain't here to make nothing for nobody. You here to you here to put out these vibes and these and everything that you feeling and and, and whoever whoever feel that, they gonna attach to that. And and that's that's how I really been rocking ever since then. I ain't gonna cap. Big homie gave me some of the realest game ever. I, I, I gotta ask, you ain't gotta answer if you don't want to, just cause you know you do music and stuff and then, then you know but can you name somebody that you met that's like, oh man, he an asshole. Man, I, I really <laughs> wish I could, but I can't. I can't. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't even gonna. I ain't gonna <laughs> right, my, go do that. You know what I mean? Okay, like okay. I don't want to burn no bridges with nobody. You feel me? But <laughs> yeah, I done met. I done met a few assholes, like real, real <laughs> assholes. Say less. All right, my bad, gang. Go ahead. Are you good? You good? You definitely good. Um, my next question was. Man, why you ain't post this last year on your social media? What you got going? Man, you know, since, 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 Lack of content? Yeah. What is it? Nah, I be having so much content, bro. The thing is, like, like I don't really... Man, that's why I've been trying to find somebody to run my social medias for me. Because I be so... I be so in real world. Like, I'm a real... I call myself like a real stump down action figure. You feel me? Like, I'm going to pull up in politic and, and you're going to see me face to face more so than online. You feel me? 
Mm. Okay, okay, okay. That make a lot of sense. Man, get you some content up. No, no. You make okay music, bro. You make good music. You make swell music. I'm familiar with you. So, why don't you go ahead and just start getting content, bro? I mean, that would be a smart move. I'm not trying to be an ass. I just, I'm, I'm in the industry. Mm. And I know you got the package to go with what you need. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely should get you some content going. Okay, man. Let me ask you this. Do you think they have to see and hear your name five different times to remember you as an artist? Uh, I mean, unless unless their introduction to you is, is so memorable that they don't. But, yeah. I've always told people that. They got to do a social media. They got to do it all over the place. Because I've heard a, there's a guy that uh, used to, back in the day when I did music, everybody's done music at one point in their life. It's yeah, like everybody's nowadays. did music at but one point. But I heard him put a post up like that. He was going through like a, a, a back in the Facebook days when people go on them tirades. He was like, do I got to throw the headphones on y'all to force y'all to listen? And he's like, man, they got to see your name five different times because he was opening up with his brother on the, like the on on a Sprite tour and doing some stuff. So he had like that breakdown that thought right after the Sprite tour, he's going to take off, but it, you know, it didn't necessarily go like that. He still had more to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's kind of why, you know, I, I threw that question to gang too. Like we kind of, you know, came mm -hmm. up with that together. That's kind of like the, the thought behind it. Cause it's more me. So yeah, yeah. like maybe see you, you know, hear your song, then see you do something on Instagram that may be funny. Then they run into you, see some like have your song played on TikTok, then they click on it like, oh, the song's being played while this video's happening. And then they may see you on a podcast in another avenue. It's like, mm -hmm. dang, there's like they got to keep seeing you, like just because that tension, that attention span so dang small. It's short. It's short, yeah. It, and that I tell people that all the time. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of throw off the way I put out music and everything too, because I know like the average motherfucker ain't finna listen to no full projects. The average motherfucker ain't finna listen to nothing longer than, than three minutes, and that's it. You know. That's like the max now. It's like really like two minutes and forty five seconds. It seems like now. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Let me ask you a question, man. As an artist, you feel like stream is important? You feel like that's a major makeup of what you need to do as an artist? Man, hell yeah. I mean, that's really the whole game now. That's how you're going to, uh, that's what the label's looking for. You feel me? They want to know what them stream numbers look like. I mean, anytime I've applied to any label, the first thing they ask or like submitted stuff, the first thing they want to know is all your social medias. They want to know how many streams you're getting on everything and everything. Okay, that's for the most part. But don't you feel like it's more avenues as an artist that maybe they can um? What do you feel are the necessities? Yeah. Right, you, all right. Let me make it make sense. What do you feel are the necessities a artist need to really be a viable artist or a competing artist? Man, especially like for new artists. New artists, man. Like I don't. I ain't gonna cap. Shit, somebody need to tell me. I don't know. God damn it. Like, I like, I like trying. that answer. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to figure out my damn self right now. Like, I wouldn't even be able to tell you that. I ain't going to lie to you. Okay, okay, okay. That's a, that's a different answer. Most people yeah, will, that's will, a different will say answer. something, but at least you kept it real, though. Like, shout out to you. Like, man, you tell me. Because no, there's no specific formula, you know what I mean, to get on. But you know that there's, like... You know, maybe, okay, I see this is working right now. Maybe I can jump into that. You know, it's like, damn near got to jump into waves and shit. Mm -hmm. And that's all I be doing. I just be, you know what I mean, studying what's going on and, and you know what I mean, putting my own little formula together. Man, the whole thing is, with me, I look at it like it's no right way to get it done. There's many avenues and different ways to get it done. Okay, let me ask you this, then. What's up with your dream collabs? Who you want to work with? Man, I got a bro. Man, I ain't gonna cap. If we was doing it, man, we'll be all day, bro. I love, I love. Okay, music. give me, give me. Okay, give me five. Give me five dream collabs. Um, man, man, can I do some? Is it just alive? No, nah. Okay, dead too. You, you, you got a minute. <laughs> you yeah. can be up like this. You can give me your dream collabs. All right, man, Big L, Big L for shit show, man. What? 
Big L, bro. Like a lot of people don't, don't know, know about Big L. If that's you know, why I just said what? Yeah, if you know, you know. Cause I love, I love flows. I love, I love, I love deliveries and, and rhyme schemes and, okay. and, and complex lyrics. So you know, what I mean, Big L for shit. So man, uh, Fat Pat. You know what I mean? Goddamn. Uh, you know, some of my live people right now that that's doing their thing. I want to fuck with Benny the Butcher, man. I like, I like, I like what a butcher got going on. He be spitting, man. Babyface Ray, you know, you know niggas like that. And okay. uh, I fuck with Babyface Ray. That's one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, man. I like, I like Babyface Ray. Definitely one of my favorite rappers. And then uh, man, it's I ain't gonna lie. Right now, it's a lot of niggas coming up. This. They just yeah they on their own way they doing their thing like for real for real it's a lot of it's a lot of them ones being created right now so I could go on all day bro like I I really like I don't be judging this shit I don't be on no hating shit if I listen to it and it's hot I'm fucking with it you know what I mean like I'm a real fan of music so man I ain't, I I really want to tap in with as many people as I can like. I like I like collaborating more than anything. Like niggas niggas used to get mad at me. Like fam, why you ain't got no songs by yourself? Just cause I like I like to collaborate, bro. Like that shit is fun for me. Like I be trying to see if I could take somebody else into my world or what I'm. You know what I mean? Like on my sound or, you know, just shit like that. Mm, okay, nobody else. Damn, bro, I can go on. Like man, a lot of cats, fam. Uh. Just in Texas, shit, uh, Big X. You feel me? Like, Big X, be, he on the type of beats I be on. I like his beat selection. You feel me? Because I got an old soul. So, yeah. I can rock with that. Okay, yeah. He got a style. I like Big X because Big X plug got like a, uh, he know how he want his beats. He know how he want to do all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. But who you rocking with right now, bro? All right. Oh, you, you was talking about this before. You said, who, who you think's the hottest in the game right now? No, nah, facts. The hottest rapper in the game right now is Boss Man d -Lo. Yeah. No, nah, for sure. That's the hottest man in the rap. The hottest man in the rap. The hottest, the hottest region in the rap game right now, honestly, is Florida. You think so? Florida. Like, they is know, up. Bro. They up. I mean, like, literally, like, not hot. Like, they running it. Like, they're on the ride. Florida. I don't think they're yeah. running it yet. I think they're not they, running it like, like Memphis. Memphis, Memphis got it right now. I was going to say, hold on. Memphis, don't play Memphis, with Memphis. Memphis, Memphis got it right now. I was so, I was so Memphis, waiting Memphis, to say that. I was going to say that. Memphis yeah. on hip hop got it. Like, I can't, right I can't now, do Memphis. Right now, I can't do Memphis. Atlanta like that either. Like, like Chicago hey. had their time. Damn. Mm -hmm. This is what happens in hip hop right now. Everybody had their time, then they become staples. Mm -hmm. Like Chicago had our time. We just had a long run. No. We to me, the longest run in hip hop's Atlanta. They yeah, of the course they got the yeah they got the longest run. It's like it's like they got the longest run. It's like easy. a twenty yeah. plus year it's run. Like, it's like shit. It's like New when York. New York had it nine ten years. It's like New York years. will always be New York. You feel me? Like it's New York. It's, it's like New York will always be New York. So when we say like that's why all the labels be. It's like New mm -hmm. York is going. When it comes to hip hop, like New York is it's like that overhead. The, the King of New York title was the King of Hip Hop title at one point. It ain't like that no more. You got to understand that back in the day when you was the King of New York, you was the King. We was talking about you mm -hmm. your raps. You was the King of New York. You was the King of rap. You was no, the King thanks. of Hip Hop. Big you was the hardest nigga in Hip Hop. That's why niggas fought for that title. It ain't like that no more. Niggas, let me, let me niggas, ask you something. Why we, just because we, we on that right there. Okay. Was X ever the King of Hip Hop in New York? DMX, yeah, DMX definitely. Shit, okay, if you know, like oh, yeah. I know. This is this is when hip hop started. Lanes being able to start being switched. Mm -hmm. I don't think motherfuckers understood that year. It was like shared, like like shared. Like niggas got to understand. Ninety seven, ninety eight was a breakout year for him. Mm -hmm. Jay Z, Nas, a lot of motherfuckers had a breakout year that year. Ninety eight, ninety seven, ninety eight, no, around that so. time. Niggas had a lot of breakout. It was a lot of artists like. Nori, no, you gotta think. Yeah. Nori, that's when it started becoming like, okay, maybe it can be different. You gotta think in the beginning of two thousands, it was like, okay, it can be different, niggas. That's the head, that's the heads. Then here we early two thousands. Here come the South. Here come Atlanta. I tell people all the time, when Outkast dropped "Stank on You," and then they introduced, they, you just start seeing Ludacris, you start seeing Ti, you just start seeing different artists. That's when I was like, okay, they coming. They, then Lil Jon came, 
they here. And it's been like that ever since. No, nah, because Texas had it. We Texas, took it Texas came in. Texas came in around 2003, 04. We, we really got everybody doing the whole drink culture. Yeah, Everything that's they, going on they, now is, is, is from what, what, what our, little, our little wave done when we had our moment with hip hop. Yeah. Look up. From 05 to 06, we get still tipping. Mm-hmm. Still tipping. It's, we, we got still tipping. Mm-hmm. We got still tipping going. Yeah, man. So, man, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, bro, like, shit, if anything, man, like, I look at it like this with hip-hop. All right, with rap. Um, DMX definitely had that. 90, he had 98 to 2003, 2002. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I, th- I would say his last good album was uh, Grand Champ. That was it. Grand Champ was his, what a hood, what a hood, yeah. what a hood. Mm-hmm. After that, he, I think he was left. that on Grand Champ? Yeah, that was Grand Champ. Cause yeah. I remember the other one. What was the other? Uh, yeah, that was what. A that was that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then he dropped that other shit. Uh, dog, the year of the dog. That shit was not good. Cause I remember like, get it on the floor. Get it, get, get it, it on, on the floor. That was yeah. Grand Champ. Yeah, like, that was Grand, Grand Champ. Grand Champ was his last good album. Like his last that he was with Def Jam. Then he left and went to Sony. Like and after that he just fell off. Yeah, I don't say he fell off, but yeah. he fell off. Yeah. Like. Is it, I don't want to rest RP, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mean, I fuck with you, X, but you, you, you had a bad run there. But like, yeah, facts. Yeah, he definitely had the time where, and then there was X. You got to think, he had. Oh, his first shit. album, he just came out the gate. Yeah, he just, man, what? That's a classic. I mean, I still facts, listen though. to his Dark and Hell is Hot Heck to this yeah. day. I still jam. Those skits are wild. Those skits are wild. He said, I'm Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, I'm Mickey. Mickey. I'm Mickey. <laughs> All that, man. Like, what so, is going on? You know what I'm no, saying, bro? Real, uh, bro. I ain't, mean, you know, other than that, man, it was good sitting here vibing with you, talking nah, to you, for man. So, man. You I ain't, I ain't even, I forgot, bro. Like, we didn't got the politics and so much talking about that music. I do that shit all day. I forgot the, you know what I mean? Talk about the project, man. Yeah, tell me about your project real fast. Yeah, man. I'm finna, I'm finna get ready to release my, my first, uh, my first project, you know what I mean? Solo project. And, uh, you know what I mean? It's called Greens and Yams. You know what I mean? We finna, we probably gonna get it, get ready to roll it out next month. We supposed to do it this month, but I think I'm gonna drop a mixtape instead because I got a couple artists I'm waiting on features. You know what I mean? I want to make sure I get everybody on there because, yeah, I feel like we're gonna take that one to the moon. But yeah, we coming up. Mm. Okay, man. Well, give me your socials, man. Tell them where to find you, streaming platforms, all that good man, shit, man. Really, you know? really anywhere, any any streaming platform, any social media, you look up Jug Team Bleeder, I'm gonna pop up. You feel me? All you gotta do is Jug Team Bleeder. I'm I'm there, somewhere. You feel me? Might pop up in a trap near you, anywhere. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, man. Okay, man. Shit. Any shout outs? Anything you want to say before we wrap it up, man? Uh, man. Shout out. Shout out my cousin Donnie, man. Shout out. Shout out Will Hustle, man. Shout out my fam Seth, man. Shout out everybody. Everybody that fuck with a nigga and that really fuck with a nigga, man. Shout out my nigga Double G's. You feel me? Oh, you know Donnie? Yeah, that's my cousin. That's that's the nigga that man. That nigga really really taught me damn near ninety percent of everything I know. Stop it, Donnie Cash. Yeah, that's my Stop okay. Playing. Okay, well you in you in some you know what I'm saying some good hands. Then. You in good yeah. hands, man. That's you know yeah. that's my dog. That's like my right hand man. Yeah, man. That's my man. It's like that's my boy. No, nah, for sure. You know, Donnie. Okay, okay, that's that, that that's 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 a good person to know. Then that's a good person yeah, to know. Yeah, good. you in good hands because my boy he gets shit done. Like no, nah, yeah, for sure. So. Like man, I be telling people all the time, man. We definitely get we definitely gotta get up after this bro you gotta hit me up man nah, for sure, Donnie man. for sure one of them dudes man like if you ain't got the budget or you ain't you mm-hmm. you playing you ain't serious he ain't gonna walk with you bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, Donnie is not but, Donnie but nah, but people nah, think nah. I'm mean nah, when they see us nah, together listen. Cause nah, sometimes he will though. If you got the talent, he he'll finesse some shit for you. Yeah. Where, where even if you ain't got no bread, Donnie gonna put some. That's a nigga that I done <laughs> seen made made motherfucking uh. <laughs> Water the wine, you feel me? I done seen that nigga do some oh, amazing yeah. shit. Amazing shit with no money, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Turn a nigga up, you feel me? Donnie gonna make you look good. I was trying to FaceTime yeah, my yeah. boy. Donnie gonna make yeah, you look yeah. good. Oh, there you go. Cause I ain't gonna cap, man. Like the 2015, 2016, when the nigga first started, man, the nigga ain't had no hey, bread. Boy, look you feel me? <laughs> What's up with it, big fam? On me. Yo. Hey. Nah, for real though. Hey, he said Donnie, he said your name first. I said, hey, man, you got this my nigga Donnie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donnie. That's my, bro, that's my right hand man. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, that's my dog, man, but shit, man. He's like, hey, I, I'm glad that you through, man. No, See, sure, you bro. never know who knows somebody. Exactly, especially in this city, man. Everybody know everybody. 
You never know know somebody, man. It was good having you come nah, out, for man. Sure, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Good vibes. Happy with you, man. Always good vibes up here, nah, man. For sure, so. Y'all hit that like, subscribe, go stream my guy's music. All that, man.